Hi there, today we're talking on a topic that you have heard me talk about lots and lots of times. It's all about our authority and gravitas in our voices. It's something that a lot of prospective clients are looking for. How do I sound more authoritative in my voice? Where is the credibility in my voice? How do I find more gravitas when I am speaking? When we're talking about the voices and trying to find these different types of qualities in our voices, we must be free in the body. But also, what is your relationship to authority? What is your relationship to trying to be credible? Or are you credible already? And lastly, what type of gravitas do you hold as a person and not only in your voice? Because we cannot compartmentalize what gravitas is to us because we need to show up with gravitas in a certain situation, but then all of a sudden revert to something else. We have to think about what it looks like for our audience to see and hear us speak with authority and gravitas, and if we can maintain that throughout the entirety of our communication all the time. If you can think about it as being a constant, then it is something that is a part of you. And sometimes you may need to think of it as a lifestyle. However, we do have different lives and how we show up with our voices in our lives, in personal life and in professional life. All of the different roles in our life that we play require us to use different parts of the qualities of our voice and different personality traits within us that help us show up in the way that we need to. When we think about authority, credibility, and gravitas, a lot of it has to do with work. But also, something that's important is, how do I not come across as too aggressive if I'm trying to be authoritative? How do I really own this quality without, you know, stepping out of my authenticity, being my true self as I am sharing this information? It is quite difficult to explore this on your own because we don't know what feels good to us, especially when it's uncomfortable and different and unfamiliar. So a great way to do it is to have somebody like myself who can see it from an unbiased point of view of seeing exactly how you are coming across so that we can give you the tips and tricks and understanding how to help you become more authoritative, more credible, and speak with more gravitas without really coming away from yourself. Sometimes the feedback that we get from the people that we know that are too close to us can emotionally start to trigger us, which doesn't help us to move in a direction where we are taking actionable and practical steps without letting the emotion take over. When we can use everything like this as a skill, it is so empowering for us to know that we can speak in a way that makes us feel this type of feeling inside the body, but we can actually use all of the space and that we can let our messages land and we can feel the vibrations land inside our body where the sound is resonant and that the messages resonate with your audience. So don't forget all of these important aspects of authority, credibility, and gravitas in the voice. It's not just about coming across this way, but all of the different deeper layers that help us to be this way authentically and so that we can show up in this way as naturally as possible. I hope that was really helpful for you. And if you have any questions and you need to talk to somebody about this, please feel free to book a consultation with me. The link is just down below so that you can find a time that suits you. In other cases, please feel free to join our Facebook group so that you can share your experiences here and that you can also learn more of the different tips that our whole team is posting all the time on how to show up more confidently with gravitas and assertiveness inside your communication as well. We look forward to seeing you soon and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are moved by these topics and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video uploads and I can't wait to see you next week. Take care now, bye.